In this video, we want to focus on the scanner class and its ability to read in files. But in order to read in a file, first we need to make a file. And I'm going to do exactly that using Notepad over here. What you want to do first is save your Notepad file in the same folder that you're going to have your program. So I do File, Save As. It's going to be info.txt. And this is the same folder that I'm using to hold my Scanner 6 file. So I go ahead and save it. Next, what I want to do is I want to put some information into the file so that we can read it. I'm going to use some very short quotes from history, and later we're going to read in these quotes. So I've give me liberty or give me death, remember the alibi, and to be or not to be, that is the question. I'm going to once again save my file. And now we're going to come over here and focus on how can I take in information from this file that I have just created. Well, first of all, we have to have the scanner class because that's what we're going to use to read in the file. We're going to try to construct an object of the scanner class. So we say scanner file equals new scanner. And then inside of the constructor, what we want to try to do is take this file. So what we could do is just try to use the name of the file, info.txt, and see where that takes us. Cannot find symbol. Okay, and it's just meaning that it cannot find this. So what you actually have to do is you have to put quotes around your file name. And now we're going to try to read it in. Unfortunately, while it does say that the process is complete, it's reading in a string called info.txt. It is not looking for a file. So what we have to do is we have to create this as a file object. So what we're going to do up here is we're going to use the file class. So we say file temp equals new file. And then in the constructor, we're going to put info.txt. And don't forget the extension. You can't just say info. You have to say info.txt, the name of the file type that it is going to be. And instead of saying info.txt there, we could just say temp. Okay, we're going to run into an error here because it's going to say cannot find symbol. And the reason is, is because the file class needs to be imported. So we're going to import the file class and it's part of the IO package. So we're going to say import java.io.asterisk. And we're just gonna import everything from the IO package. Now when we compile it, it's going to work just fine, but then it's going to give us this error that says file not found exception. An exception in Java means an error. Whenever we're trying to import a file, Java is going to demand that we do something about the file not found exception. And the way that we're going to handle that error is on the main method, we're going to add the words throws IO, meaning input output exception. And what that is going to do is that is going to handle an error of the file not being found or corrupted data or other things that we have no control over. Now this video's focus is not on exceptions and how they work. That's as far as I'm going to go with throws exception in this video. Just know that throws IO exception is one way to handle exceptions with the IO package and it needs to be there, otherwise your program will not run. So now when we compile the program, we get process complete and we can read in the file. So we're going to say system.out.println and we're going to print out the information inside of the file. And we do that by using the next line method. So we say file, which is the name of the scanner object right here, dot next line. And because we can see this and we know that there's three inside of there, we're going to do that two more times. And hopefully what's going to happen is, is it's going to pull the data from the file and print them out. And it does exactly that. Give me liberty or give me death. Remember the Alamo and to be or not to be. So now we can see how we can read files in using the scanner class. Before I finish this video, there's one more thing that I would like to show you. Instead of creating a file object, what we can do is simply use an anonymous object right here. 
And by using an anonymous object, we do not have to name the file. Because we are not using the file again in our program, this would be a good way to do it. So instead of naming it temp, we're just going to say new file, say info.txt. And when we run the program, we'll see that it works perfectly for us. So you can see both ways of creating files and then using the scanner class to read them.